what's up guys uh, let me talk about hydrogenation and dehydrogenation essentially this is adding hydrogen to your molecule and this is taking out hydrogen from your substance and hydrogen is one of the most dynamic uh, molecules or reactions you can actually use in refination for refineries you could actually use many transition metals uh, such as cobalt, nickel, ruthenium, no, ruthenium, rhodium, osmium, palladium, iridium, and platinum. Maybe you think you can use any transition metal, but that's not the case. Actually, these guys right here are not recommended at all because vanadium, chromium, nobimium, molybdenum, tantalum, and tungsten have a very strong absorption rate due to the number of decant d orbitals. They have a lot of them, and that makes them, for example, hydrogen comes here into, let's say, uh, tungsten, and this will stay here. So hydrogen gas will never leave this guy right here, and this is not what you want. You want it that it is able to absorb it, but at the same time, desorb it. Some basic thumb rules are this one here, hydrogenation. If you want to hydrogenate, do it at low temperature. You want to dehydro uh, dehydro uh, dehydrogenate to it at high temperatures. Essentially, that's basic. And makes sense. You want to take out gas, you need to take a high temperature. You want to get a gas into a molecule, that's not a problem at all, actually. Hydrogen is small, so we'll go and do it easily. One common process is the industrial butadiene, which is, for example, synthetic rubber production. Uh, you first want this, but at the end, for later synthetic uh, rubber production. And you can obtain this by the dehydrogenation of butanes, for example, N-butane, isobutane, etc. Actually, I think I, no, yeah, I don't have a reaction, but let me give it for you. It's one, two, three, four, let's say you have double bond, yeah, you have one, This here is double. Let's see. Okay, so you have this isobutanes. You're going to take out hydrogen. No, sorry, you're going to hydrogenate that. No, sorry. These are just one here, and what you're going to get is hydrogen gas and the double bond, which you're going to use later for that synthetic rubber production. Good. You have also this one here, hydrogen gas, and you take out this here. Okay. And I bring you once again pictures. This is a hydrogenator. This is once again another hydrogenator unit. I couldn't find a hydro dehydrogenation unit. Hydrogen these ones are way more common, so that's why I have them right here. But as you can see, well, you have towers, and you have many towers because then you're going to separate those materials from the product and so on. What's up guys? It's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or I should be adding something, taking out content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.